If you look at this one, there's a phosphate group here. And then this portion is the lipid attached. So we are talking about an oil. You know, lipids are essentially fats and oils. And so there's, there's a long chain fatty acid which is attached to a glycerol um, molecule. Now, what we have here is serving as a 3 OH compounds, this limb taking one, lip, um, one long chain fatty acid, this also taking another fatty acid, and then the other one serving as a linkage for the phosphate group with that attached to it, making this bit of that ionic and this bit hydrophobic. So that describes the phospholipid. And it is this that we have embedded in there, giving us the plasma membrane. So the hydrophilic polar heads of the phospholipid molecules naturally face the outside and the inside of the cell. That is where you would have the aqueous media. So there is water outside and then there's water inside. And the hydrophobic nonpolar tails would face each other within the interior of the layer. Now what we have described was proposed and named as a model what we term the fluid mosaic model. Fluid mosaic model. And this is a model currently in use to describe the plasma membrane. So, after all that I've said, if I shall ask you to describe the plasma membrane, it's the same as asking you to discuss the fluid mosaic model. Now, the fluidity of the membrane is due to its lipid component. Take note. The fluidity of the membrane is due to the lipid component. Now, I did say that you can have temperature increasing and that obviously will affect these molecules. So, at body temperature, the phospholipid bilayer of the plasma membrane has the consistency of olive oil. That's a body temperature. When you take an organism, every organism has a particular temperature that allows that organism to function normally.